The best deal that's currently on the table is the EU position. Uh, and if that deal got accepted, which is a very big if, but if it did, uh, that would give us about a 50-50 chance of not hitting the dreaded two degrees. Two degrees is where we enter runaway climate change, two to three, three to four, five to six. By the time we hit six, it's about over for life on Earth. So, Ed, why do you only want to give us a 50-50 chance? I, I want to give you the maximum chance. Look, let me uh, congratulate you, Franny, on this fantastic global premiere. Uh, the, the key thing for the world in December is to get a deal that does something that has not been done before in the industrialized history uh, of the globe, which is to turn around the inexorable rise in emissions. That will make all kinds of things possible in the future. And you're right, we can't accept simply a 50-50 chance of avoiding two degrees. But the truth is that we are doing something that has never been done before, which is to turn around that rise in emissions. And that, for me, uh, is the key uh, to what we need in December. Thanks for your politician answer, <laughs> all the way around the houses. <laughs> but, but I still don't understand, you know, the, the elected leaders, you know, we've given you the responsibility. And uh, obviously, uh, it wasn't you yourself, but for the last 20 years, the world has failed to act on climate change. Our emissions have been going up and up and up. We've achieved less than nothing. Isn't it the greatest failing of political leadership the world has ever seen? The problem about what you're saying is that it sounds quite defeatist. It sounds like even if we get a deal, it's not going to be good enough. I want the maximum possible deal that we can get because it is absolutely urgent we do it. There is a unique window of opportunity. And as I say, it's our responsibility. It's leader, political leaders and their representatives' responsibility to lead. But it is also the public's uh, responsibility uh, to push them. And we need more pushing between now and December. So we've got a really good following on Twitter now. Um, and also we've added something to our homepage, which is really cool, which is uh, this live blogging thing. Like, we're getting tweets here that we don't understand at all. Because <laughs> they're coming back in Chinese. We had this one uh, a few minutes ago, which none of us can understand, uh, but it has the word a stupid in it, so. We also had to download a file, which was coming from Lizzie, um, which was photos of audiences across the world. And when I say across the world, ultimately, we were in over 60 countries. That was downloaded 16 seconds before it was broadcast. Uh, we're lucky to have uh, Tom York, who's the lead singer of Radiohead and who's been a supporter of the film, uh, joining us live via satellite. Tom, uh, can you hear me? I'm praying that you can, because we've had some trouble. Oh, Hi. we're lucky. Uh, I, I think you're all saying uh, everything that needs to be said, so I'm, I'm just going to play a song.
Tom, thank you so much. I don't know if you even got a chance to hear the applause in the room, but uh, thank you so much for participating in this. And is there anything that you'd like to say to the 440 cities and 63 countries watching now? Uh, well, the only thing is that I like the point that's just been made about um, economic growth, the economy. Uh, I think um, Ed Miliband probably knows this, but won't admit it, as most politicians won't, that the concept of limitless economic growth is now dead. and there's certainly not much time for climate change and there's not much time for this satellite link. I just want to say that um, every generation that came before us didn't know about this project problem. Every generation that follows, it'll be too late for them to do anything about it. So it is down to us. And other generations did manage to solve their big problems. They did end slavery. They did overturn apartheid. There's no question about what it is that our generation has to do and how we're going to be remembered. And so uh, there's nothing intrinsically more stupid or more useless about us. The only question is whether we give it a go or not. Oh!